Hello, this is Dr. Gay, and this is a quick look at a tear of a meniscus, just a bread and butter type tear, and a good example of one. So this is a patient who does martial arts, is having pain along their medial side of the knee, and to start off with, this is a view where we're looking at the knee sideways. Here's the patella in the front. We're looking at the profile. Here's the top, the femur. Here's the tibia down below, and we can roll off to the outside, the lateral side, and off to the inner side, the medial side. If we go to the lateral side, we see this dark structure. Here's the front of it, here's the side of it, and here's the back of it. Looks like a nice triangle. This is the lateral meniscus. It's a little cartilaginous wedge, and the femoral condyle is rounded, the tibia is flat, and this little cartilaginous wedge sits right in between. So this is a beautiful looking lateral meniscus. It should be really sharply defined and triangular, and really uniform darkness. And so that's the lateral meniscus, it looks normal. Now we're gonna jog across the middle. Here's the anterior cruciate ligament, posterior cruciate ligament. Now we're gonna come out the other side. Now as we come out the other side, we notice something is wrong on this one. This is where the tear is. Over here is the back of the medial meniscus. Here's the front. This is called the anterior horn. This is called the body. This is called the posterior horn. So the posterior horn is in back, and we see this oblique undersurface tear. It contacts the back of it here. This is called the capsular surface. It comes down to the meniscus undersurface. And the meniscus has three components. They divide it into these three components, the inner component, the middle component, and the outer or peripheral component. And this one looks like it comes to the outer component and it touches the undersurface here in the middle and maybe even to the inner third. But I would call this a middle and peripheral third tear, an oblique undersurface tear. And this also went into the meniscus body. We can see this on another view. If we look straight on at the knee, this is a view looking head on. Now we can see the lateral meniscus and medial meniscus at the same time. Lateral meniscus looks great over here, this nice little wedge. And over here is the medial meniscus. And we can see right there how it is not normal. You can see a little curvilinear band of brightness. If we go towards the back, we can see the tear starting here, going horizontally all the way across to here. So nice example of a uh, medial meniscus tear that involves the posterior horn and the meniscus body.